All right, so today on Voice of the Donor, we are here with David Van Leeuwen, and David is from New York. So David, tell me what cause are you most passionate about and what feeds that passion? Well, I, I believe the, the, the issue that's, that's most pressing in, in my mind is uh, economic and social empowerment, and that would be um, growing opportunities for people to improve their economic as well as social situation. That could be uh, through uh, economic programs, educational programs, uh, social policies, economic policies, and, and so on. Perfect. Great. So um, I guess in, in that feeding that passion, you are a, a lawyer, is that correct? Yes, I, I have a private practice, um, small international law firm, doing mostly commercial and real estate work, but I also do some public policy consulting and advocacy. Great. Okay, so in talking about the donation you recently made, how did you first discover the nonprofit organization that you donated to? Well, I met a uh, very dynamic uh, young man named Josh, um, and he is closely associated with the National Urban League. Uh, we met at a Net Impact event, which uh, I believe they're they're across the country, but they're here in New York. It's a uh, organization and an event trying to bring progressive and um, uh, I guess nonprofit people together to to work on certain projects and collaborate uh, specifically there was a uh, sustainable disaster relief talk and panel and I met, uh, met Joshua afterwards and we've been collaborating ever since very cool so so prior to meeting Josh did you have any knowledge of Na the National Urban League yeah the National Urban League is one of the oldest um, organizations of its kind in the country. Um, as you may know, it's it's been headed by uh, several uh, notable public figures. Uh, former White House uh, Chief of Staff Herb Jordan was head of the Nur uh, National Urban League for some time. And now uh, former mayor of New Orleans, uh, Mark Morial, is, is heading the lead and he is a, uh, a dynamic progressive force. Right. Perfect. All right. So what was the reason you ultimately decided to make a donation to this organization? Well, um, I, I'd like to use my resources, both uh, economic as well as otherwise, to, to act in support of uh, organizations that are engaged in, in progressive and, and, and laudable efforts, National Urban League. Uh, certainly one of those organizations, and, and I, um, I wanted to contribute uh, and the firm to contribute uh, financially as well as uh, in other ways. Right. So, so was this your first donation of its kind, or have you been a, a donor for other organizations in the past? Um, I've I've volunteered and I've been engaged in other ways, but this is actually my first uh, financial contribution of of some substance to to. Uh, to an organization of this kind. Yes. Great, that is awesome. So, so can you tell me, um, kind of from start to finish, about your overall donor experience? Well, I um, I couldn't say uh, better things about it. Um, everyone I met there was engaged both in uh, what they were doing and and making the the, the donor informed of of, of the process. And, and how it helps facilitate the process, um, and and encouraging, um, you know, encouraging us to engage in in, in further uh, events and and further collaborations. I, I couldn't I couldn't speak up more highly about it. That is great to hear. Um, I think that sometimes there is a bit of a lack of communication between nonprofit organizations and donors such as yourself, or there, it's just simply a. a product of our you know busy schedules so it's nice to hear that you were fully walked through the process and did you receive any kind of communications after the fact so they they prepared you before but did you receive any kind of engagement um, post donation that you can talk to well I um, I had the opportunity to meet with um, 
several uh, senior people there. I, I did meet with the CEO um, privately on one occasion and in a small group on, on another occasion. I, I did meet with uh, their senior uh, economic uh, advisor as well as, you know, and they informed me on the projects they're working on, how we can get further involved and, and how I can help uh, both with my uh, economic, so continued economic support as well as uh, advocacy and, and otherwise. Going forward, is there anything that nonprofits could do to to better engage their potential donor bases, such as yourself? Well, I, I think they do a pretty good job eliciting and encouraging contributions from large organizations. They have established relationships, and and so on and so forth. I but I think there is an un, an untapped. Uh, section of the population, uh, smaller donors that and and people of, of like mind that are uh, engaged in you know smaller efforts, smaller gatherings and and if and I might suggest doing what Josh did, which was going to these type of events, meeting these kind of people, uh, encouraging these relationships and I think that that they would have um, good success in, in terms of uh, finding donors, finding people.